Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Uh, good evening, everybody. It was a very eventful day today, and we're not done with it just yet. Notice this tower cam really shaking around, kind of dancing a little bit. Some really strong winds out there, even here in Odessa Midland. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank weather cam, we've got a good live look at that because it is very windy. And again, we saw these high winds coming with a cold front, really dropping our temperatures back yesterday, coming in almost 10 degrees above average on both highs and lows. But today, we're significantly cooler. In fact, coming in about 10 degrees below low average 47 degrees our high temperature for today 37 for our lows so really not a very big range of temperatures because we were still dealing with that cold front passing through our morning temperatures a little bit warm but by the time we got to this afternoon we saw a quick cool down and even a little bit of snow about a third of an inch of liquid fell here in Odessa Midland. Now, if you extrapolate that, usually snow is about 10 to 1, so about three inches of snow actually fell on the ground. It all melted immediately, so don't go looking for it or try to make any snow angels or anything like that, but it is out of the way now. You can see this massive low pressure system here off to our west now getting out of the way, leaving behind a little bit of cloud cover here for Odessa Midland and some very strong winds for parts of the mountains, but it is that low pressure system that caused just about everything very neat to look at. Usually we don't see those kinds of things passing overhead here in West Texas. And actually, Marfa Alpine didn't get too much in the way of drama, just seeing a little bit of some cool air coming on in from the north and some very strong winds. But other than that, notice the sky cover, very, very clear, not too much in the way of rain. Here in Odessa Midland, we did get some of that snow and some rain, but most of that is still tracking off to our east, the eastern edge of the basin, still seeing some very light showers right now. I don't anticipate that lasting for too much longer. Most of that low pressure system is going to continue to track off to the east. I already affecting Abilene San Angelo right now. By the way, San Angelo looking like it's getting a ton of rain right now, but I expect actually that those are just huge snowflakes, kind of like we saw here in Odessa Midland earlier today, just showing up as a lot of rain currently. San Angelo getting swamped with it doesn't look like it's moving, but to give you an idea of the scale of this massive low pressure system, it's taking up almost the entire half of Texas. Moving on through, it's actually going to track through Louisiana and Mississippi. This thing is very far to the south, especially considering the time of year unusual to see, but hey, it is moving on out, and we're going to finally see the effects of that giant low pressure system begin to diminish, but without, uh, but it'll be a little while yet. 47 mile per hour wind gusts for Wink, 46 for Pecos, 44 for Odessa Midland. It did bring the winds. Actually, Guadalupe Pass seeing wind speeds up to 70 miles per hour, taking out the observation system. Same story for Marfa. At the higher elevations, we saw some extremely, possibly even damaging, strong winds. Now, going forward through the evening, we're actually going to see those winds finally begin to taper off a little bit, but it's going to take a, lot, a while. Wind speeds backing off into the 20s as early as 8 p.m., but staying in the 20s even into tomorrow morning. So it looks like we're going to be dealing with some pretty strong winds for a pretty long while. 21 miles per hour, our current sustained speed for Odessa Midland, of course, gusting higher than that. 27 for Wink, 26 for Fort Stockton. And as we go through the overnight hours, notice that wind direction not really changing up too much on us. That's going to be pulling in some very cold air out of the northwest and doing so still very quickly, even as we get to the morning hours, not really a big reduction in those wind speeds across the basin. It's not until the afternoon that we finally see them taper off, and when they do taper off, it is a quick taper. So once we get to around 4 or 5 p.m. tomorrow, we'll finally see everything calm down. But until we get there, we do have to deal with tomorrow morning's temperatures. First, 29 degrees for Odessa Midland. That is well below the 32 degree freezing line, so we are going to be dealing with some pretty cold temperatures, some freezing temperatures, especially across the northern basin. But the good news is right now, we're at 50 degrees for Odessa Midland, 44 for Big Spring. Again, snow doesn't stand a chance in any temperatures like this. It's going to stay liquid. Even the eastern edge of the basin where we're looking at a little bit of rain right now, temperatures way too warm to allow that to stick on the ground. Most of it's going to eva evaporate by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Good news there. If anything does linger, we do have a small possibility to see some ice in the a.m. hours, but I say it's a very isolated chance. We're not really looking at too much in the way of ice chances coming through for tomorrow. Now, as far as the next couple of days, go, we're going to be dealing with actually a pretty good weekend. 54 degrees, our high temperature. Tomorrow, we recover really, really quickly from today's pretty chilly temperatures, and then we'll cool down to 32 degrees for Saturday morning. That is another freeze in the northern basin. I do expect a hard freeze to be taking place, so take the precautions there. Watch out for your plants, your pets, your people, things like that. Saturday, we'll warm up to 63. Sunday, it's 61. Those winds will be tame by the time we get to the weekend. Temperatures will be nice and mild, actually a little bit above average, and even those lows, not even dealing with any freezing temperatures after we get through tomorrow. So real nice weekend coming our way.
And yeah. Chase, uh, I'm no expert on snow, <laughs> but those are some of the biggest Huge. snowflakes I've ever, I've ever seen. I agree. I agree. I, I don't get to see snow that often, but uh, man, that was... That was a lot of snow. Some were bigger than others. You can see, ooh, look at mm -hmm. that. Yeah, very cool. So next week... Any chance of snow again? No, no chance of no snow. Chance. We've got a small chance to see some rain, I think, in the middle of the week. By, by Thursday, we may see another system move through, but nothing like what we had today. We had today. this morning, yes. Midland not seeing as much, though. Right, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. All right, Chase, thank you. Thanks. Well, despite a strong